In this video, we will be talking about how we can change words from being singular to plural and how we can go backwards, so from plural to singular. In the previous video, we learned gender transformation, so this will be quantity transformations. So, so as we did in the previous video, the first thing that I should teach you is what, what, you know, what we call singular and what we call plural. So singular would be singular would be ik vachan ik vachan so we have ik and then we have vachan ik vachan and then we have plural plural which would be baha vachan baha vachan now if you have issues with with you know uh, specific syllables or, or or just letter sounds I highly advise you to go back and watch Punjabi 1 before you watch this series because this series builds on Punjabi 1. And, and, and if you haven't already, go back and obviously watch the gender transformation one first because, uh, you know, uh, you need to understand what, what words are feminine, what words are, what words are masculine in the, in the grammatical structures of Punjabi. Okay, so for today we have around uh, we we will have around five different cases. Uh, unlike uh, you know the gender transformation where we had eleven cases, here we will just study five different cases. And again, these are not rules; these are cases. And maybe I should be very clear about this: cases does not mean it's a rule. Case is just a one specific fragment of the overall truth of any given entity that you know we observe. So so, so, you know, don't, don't think that these are always applicable to every single uh, scenario. These are just cases that we are studying. These are not laws. There's a difference between a law and a theorem. So, so that having that in mind, or that being said, let's, let's start with, with our five cases. For my first case, we will study how we we can convert a, you know a word a word that ends with a kanna and how that's singular and how that can become plural by exchanging that with a lama. I will use a chemistry sort of a base um, as I did for for the previous video where where I teach you how uh, you know a reaction or you know if you haven't already learned what we call an equilibrium reaction in in chemistry. So I'll be using that sort of style, just like the one used in the previous video. So for my for my first case, I'll be exploring how, you know, a word which ends with a kanna can be transformed from this is left as singular and this will be plural. How can how it can go from singular to plural such that when we make it plural, the word remains the same. However, instead of the kaka, we have a lama. We can also go back from plural to, to, to you know, our uh, singular by just going backwards. And that's where this chemistry notation, equilibrium reaction notation comes in handy. Okay, so let's do some examples because you best learn with, with examples here. So if I have Allah, Allah, and if I want to make this into plural, all I do is I replace, I take that, I take that off and I put a lama. So that's what we're going to do. So this can become plural by just replacing that kanna with the lama, something like this. So this is plural. Maybe I should write this here. This is plural. This will be singular. I'm going to abbreviate them with, with their initial letters. So, so this is plural. This will be singular. And we can also go back. If you want to make something plural to singular within this first case, just take off the lama and just put a kanna. Quite simple. Let's do three more. If I have a munda, munda, so I ha, so I have a mama with a ankar, I have a tippi, a dada, and a kanna, a kanna. So what what I do? Take that off, and I put a I put a lama munde. So these are plural, and 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 this would be one boy. These these are more than one boy. So or I wrote p for both of them. So this would be singular, and this would be plural. Um, if if I have patta, which is 
I can make this into a plural by taking that off and just putting a llama. So I can write down patte. Now, I can go back from this plural uh, scenario here and go back to the singular one by replacing the llama into a kanna. So this, this would be plural and this would be singular. Um, eh, let's do one more. If I have chola, so if I have chaja, ora lala, and then I have this kanna, this, would, this being singular, this being a bag, then I can make this a plural by replacing that kanna with that with a lama. So I have a chaja, a lala, and a lama. And this would be plural, and I can go from plural to singular by replacing the lama with the kanna. So this is the first scenario. This is what we see normally uh, um, when when we're going from uh, you know singular to plural. Another case that's that's seen here is that if you have a word, so let me so let me write this down. If you have if you have a word which has no symbols tacked on to at the end, so what we call mukta. We can make it a plural by just, uh, you know, either. So, so, so let me write down two reactions here or two, two different uh, formulae here. Either we can do this. We can take our word, how it was with the mukta, how, how it was normally. And instead of a mukta, we put, uh, you know, uh, you know, a kanna with a bindi. So then, and, 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 and this would be singular, that would be plural, and we can go both ways. Another, uh, you know, uh, I think that we see within this specific case is that if I take that word and if I add uh, ada, ada with, with a kanna and a bindi, then this would also be, uh, you know, making it plural. And again, it can go both ways. If, if you are here, you can go, you can make it singular by going in this direction. That's what these, these arrows are supposed to be denoting. Let's do some examples. If I have oot, if I have oot, so oot, I can make this, uh, you know, plural by just adding by adding, uh, you know, this this little symbol at the end. So we have a uda, we have a delinkard, we have a tata, and we have a kanna with a bindi. Now I guess so, so this is plural, this is singular. I can also go back by 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 just removing that. If I have faj, which means army, faj, I can, uh, you know, I I can make this plural by just adding that little symbol right there, so it becomes faja, faja, and this would be plural, and 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 this would be singular. Again, we can go backwards by by just removing that. Let me let me do a better job there, and so we can go backwards as well by just removing that, and 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 uh, you know we we would be becoming singular. If I have, um, if, if I have yatru, so if I have a yaya, then a kanna tata rara, the linker, I can make this, uh, you know, into a plural using this, this specific case. So we have a, so we have the original word yatru. However, now, now we put a era, and you know the kanada bin the yatrua. So yatru becomes yatrua, this being singular, this being plural. We can come back as well, obviously, by just removing that. For our last example, so I did one with this, I've done two with these. I'll do one more with the top one because it's more common. If I have kand, which means wall, I can make this plural by 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 just you know, just adding a kanna with the bindi here. So this this was plural, and this is singular. Okay, so um, now we we will study our third case. The third case is quite special because it takes advantage of this one. So actually, instead of rewriting it, I am just gonna do this. I'm just gonna copy this. We're gonna go right over here, and what, what I'm gonna do is I am also going to remove this because that's not true. So let's 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 study the third case. The third case tells us the third case tells us that if I have a word and then a bihari at the end, I can make it into a plural by by still keeping the word and replacing the bihari, or 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 or, or maybe I should 
maybe I should uh, you know write that in there maybe I should write that in there if I have the original word and I have a Bihari at the end I can keep the Bihari I can keep the Bihari and I can add uh, you know add a with a Kanna and a Bindi and that will make it plural let's do some examples or maybe let me read this to you if if a word ends with a Bihari that can become a plural by by keeping this word and Bihari uh, and 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 then adding this Ada and uh, you know the Kanna and, and and with the Bindi here let's do some examples we don't have much space however oh, we'll try to make this work if I have Yadi or 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 sorry i read it wrong chardi if i have chardi so something like something like this then i can make a plural by adding you know keeping the behari and adding that material right there chardi uh, something like this you can clearly see that this was tagged on at the end and this is plural that's singular we can go backwards by just simply removing this era and 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 this kanna with the bindi then we could do Hati, which is an elephant, Hati. And again, look, it ends with a Bihari. We can make this into a plural by adding, uh, you know, an Eda and a Kanna at, and, and a Bindi at the top there, Hati. Uh. Then we can we can uh, and 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 obviously we can go backwards by just removing that and and we would be talking about one uh, specific elephant. If I do uh, istri, so uh, ist istri, then I can go and make this into a plural by just adding this material at the end whilst keeping everything that I have. So this would be istri something like this and I could also go backwards obviously by removing the you know the ada and the kanna and the bindi at the top to 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 get back to my singular maybe I should write that this is singular this is plural this is singular this is plural this is singular and this is plural for my last example we could we we, we could talk about a helper or a friend a sati a sati this can become plural by again following this formula. So satya, so it's sati. You keep that and then you put a era, uh, you know, kanada bindi, and you can go back to the singular by just removing that era, that kanada bindi. So this would be singular and this would be plural. Okay, let's go to the. Let's 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 learn about the last four. Sorry, not last four. The last two cases to go to the fourth case. So the fourth case tells us that if if we have so so let me first write it down. If I have a word that ends with 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 a you know a kanna and a bindi at the top, so if I have a kanna and a bindi to 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 make this a plural, what what I need to do is to keep the word keep the you know the, this this little uh kanna with the bindi at the, at the top however i need to add a vava at the front i need to add a vava at the front and then this is quite important we will see examples of this and we can go back from this stage of being plural to being singular so so if this is this and then we can go this way as well so some some examples of this material right over here would be this if i have ga which means uh, cow so if if i have a ga look it's it's a it's a singular right now we can make this into a plural by just replacing this 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 material with va so i i i have a uh, you know and 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 i should also tell you uh, that for this we have a very special uh, you know uh, e exception we we don't just say gava we add a kanna here to support this this little addition and this can be seen uh, you know sometimes uh, you know through or or, or or when you do this now and 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 you know and th this is normally seen when when this is added here so maybe i should write that down we normally put a kanna behind this so we have a kanna behind this little addition i'll do another example of this because it it's quite important for you to realize this if i have ma 
if I have ma, which is still following this structure, then okay, and, and, and I forgot to do this. So this would be plural, and this would be singular, this is singular. And if I want to make this, if I, ma means mom. So if I want to make this plural, mama, and, and, you know, or, you know, you know, moms, so, so that would be mama. And it follows the same structure here. We, 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 we take this, ma, ma. Now, uh, the formula that I had before, the formula that talked about, you know, if if we have, uh, you know, just some word with with something, and you know, we it, in order to become plural, it all it needs is a vava and a kanna and a bindi at the top. That was with just a just a kanna, just a kanna. So so if you see this. So if you see this, then what you do is you just have your word and you replace it. You replace or or or, or you tag on that that va at the end there. So so to to recap here, if we have a word that ends with a kanna and a and a bindi at the top, you take that word and 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 you replace that little part of that you know a kanna with a tippy with you know a kanna a vava a kanna with a tippy as we see here a ga becomes a gama a ma becomes a mama so this would be plural now within this section of kanna with or without the bindi we see that when the word ends with a kanna then in order to make that plural we take the word we take the, we keep the kanna with it and we add a va at the end let's do some examples you always learn better with with examples so for my examples here i have chosen para which is baba ra ra ada if i want to make this into a plural word so para means brother i can say para so again, look, I'm keeping that and I'm adding va at the end, parama. So this is plural and this is singular and you can also go backwards. And, you know, another uh, example of this would be darya, da, da uh, and, 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 you know, say, ari, ra, 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 uh, kana. And I could make this into, in, into a plural by simply adding on this va at the end. So we have a darya, darya, va, darya, va. So again, you can go backwards to being singular by just removing this va at the end here. So this is plural and this would be singular. Let's do our last, uh, you know, examples uh, that, that uh, you know, uh, that you really need to understand. So this is the last case that we will study. And this case is a special one because you, you, you use the numbers in this. So there is no formula here. You use numbers, which is quite remarkable, to be honest with you. So let me show you some examples of when we do this. So th these words, um, y y you know, we, we have seen uh, already. However, you can also use a number to, 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 you know, be specific. And we can also do this in English. If you, you know, if you want to say cars, you can, you, you can say just cars and that would be the plural of a car. However, another way to, to really denote that we have more than one car, you can just tell that we have two cars. However, the thing with Punjabi is when you do this, you don't need to you don't need to learn this. You can just say two car. You can, you can also say four car. And we'll see that. We'll we'll see that in just one second. So let me let me show this to you. So let's do examples. And if you don't know the numbers, I have a wonderful video on 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 all the numbers from one to one hundred. And at the end of the video, I also show you a very interesting pattern that's available, uh, you know, or 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 or, or present within the Punjabi number system. So I would highly advise you to go check that out if you have any issues with with any Punjabi numbers. So so for this, if I want to say you know if I want to go from uh, you know hati to to you know singular hati to plural hati, let's say you don't know how to do this. Where where is our hati? We we did a we 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 did an example right over there. Now, let's say for some reason, you don't know how to do this. And for, again, for some reason, you know the quantity of your elephants. Then if you have a singular, so ik means one, ik uh, hati, ik hati, then, then if you want to make this into a plural, so this is a singular, you just change the ik to maybe a do, to make it more than that. So do hati. Look, 
you have not changed the word so so this is a little trick that you can use to your advantage just in case you don't remember this third case right over here so so this is quite crucial so so you know we can't just you know that's not the only one where we can do this we can do this with more we can say maybe ik uh, you know ik darya ik darya if you don't know what a darya is go back and watch the geology terms vocabulary Punjabi video so if you want to change this to to more than one darya then you can just say do do darya quite easy and it's not like English where you have to remember that little s at the end so this is singular this is plural let's do another one let's do uh, ik oot so one camel if I if I want to make more than, you know, one, or want to talk about more than one elephant, I simply write down do, do, oot. And I can go backwards by, by just, you know, just changing the number. So, so this is a very cool trick that you can use and it's not really grammatical uh you know in 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 a very general sense as in you don't need to remember any sort of specific rules so so i i i i i really think that this could serve as a very valuable case to you if you are struggling within the punjabi language okay so that's all i wanted to talk about in this video in the next video we will be talking about some some different um, you know, the different grammatical cases, and we'll talk about what those mean in the next video. So I will see you in the next video. If you need more help, just go back, uh, you know, in, in, in the Punjabi uh, 1 series to, 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 you know, to get more help. So, so I hope that this was helpful, and, 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 and I will see you in the next video.